Okay guys, today we're going to start doing something that maybe you already working before. It's called volume. Any idea what volume is? No, sir. No, sir. Lifetime, what time? Mm -hmm. And what is it for? What do we need volume? Find the amount of density inside an object. Yeah, there are things related with that. First thing, when we see some real life examples that we need to know about volume is at the beginning in Oakland, for example. In Oakland, there are uh, place, the port, they have these containers. You need to know about volume to ship these kind of containers. In the UPS, UPS now they have a deal. They have flat rate. It means whatever you put in the box, there's going to be one price for that. It, mean, it doesn't matter if it's uh, heavier or lighter. It doesn't matter. Just they, they are, um, you have to pay only for whatever you put inside. And that's what they call flat rate. You need to know about volume. But they get it in 24 hours, where it should be awesome. Yeah. And other opportunity you need to know about volume is when you're moving from one home to another. You should know about volume because you have to rent this track, this track, and this track. And there is a big difference about prices then it's not to say, oh, okay, I'm going to write the, the big one because whatever I want to put inside. Because it's a lot more expensive than you, you should know. But what is volume? Um, Evan says another word, density. Yeah. We're going to watch this kind of a, this is a cartoon, four minute video that teaches a lot. Look at Basically, you have to multiply the length, the width, and height. 
For in this case, the Q is going to be 4 times 4 times 4. It's going to be 64. The container has a volume of 64 cubic meters. And since you have eight cars that you want to fit into it, you will have to reduce the volume of each car to exactly one-eighth of 64 cubic meters, which is eight cubic meters. In other words, you will have to crush each old wreck into a cube measuring two meters by two meters by two meters. So start compacting each car until it takes up exactly eight cubic meters worth of space. Volume. 
How can I calculate? Why do you need it? Five times five times five. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times five is twenty-five. Five times five is twenty-five. Okay, two ways to express and both both then are right. Four five to the third. Four five to the third. And the answer is what? One twenty-five. One twenty-five. Now on the question. What? One thousand twenty-five. What? Cubic feet. Cubic feet. Because now you're doing feet multiplied one, two, three times. This is going to be feet to the third power, or you can say cubic feet also. And you can see like that, if you just counted the five, you, you kind of uh, cut it in five parts, the five, five parts, you are making 125 cubes. If you count it, it's going to be 125 cubes. Then that is the concept, that's the idea about volume. That's just this, just this focus back here. What is the volume of this rectangular prism? Prism is the name for this uh, figure. What would be the volume of this one? 60 centimeters. 60 centimeters, and you're missing something. 5 times 3. So just a little. The third, the third power. Third. Don't forget that. Because it's not the same talking about only centimeters or talking about the cubic centimeters. What happens when you have a figure like this? How can calculate the volume? Don't you just multiply it all? Um, I don't think so. Imagine I have to multiply one, 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 one times five one. times five times two. Yeah, the more the most part. And it's gonna be m to the one, two, three, four, five, m to the fifth power. Doesn't make sense. The best idea is to do what? Do the two sections. Yeah, kind of break it. Like that. Like break it here. Because I can calculate only this block, and then I cal calculate this other block. But isn't that missing up that five right there? Let's see. That. Let's cover this part. OK, only for this block, I have to do 2 times 5 okay. and times, because I need 3. How much is this? That's 2 by 1. It was 1. Oh. Yeah. It was one. Then I have what? Ten. Then what? Meters. Meters what? Second. Second. To the third power. Q meters. I have the third. Mm. Always the third because you're going to play n times n and times n. It's going to be n to the q. So does the other five get cut in half or no? Which one? Okay, back that, back to black again. Just remember, we are talking about only this block. And I'm talking about when we get to the other side, see that five? Or this is exactly. Eight. Now we're going to go to the other side. Let's say I'm going to calculate this part now. Now I have this is one times one. And how much is this? Three. One. Two. two. If this is five and this three. is two, how much is this one? It's three. Three, yeah. So it's 15 to the four. So you have three. Three. And to the third three power. Times one, times one. Three. To the and to the third power. power. Uh-huh. And then you have to add the two. This block and this block, ten plus one. No, plus, because you're adding the volume of this part plus the volume of this part. So we thirteen and to the six and to the sixth power? No. To the third power. Always gonna be cute. Because remember that's like terms. When you have x plus x, you have two x. You don't have x squared. No, you don't do that. When you multiply it, when you multiply but here you're adding, you're not multiplying. Then it's 10 times 3, 13 meters cubed. Okay, plus 3. Just a time 3. Yeah, then this is the worksheet you're going to work right now. And these ones are easy, right? Because you have to multiply the three sides. The hard one is right there in the second one. The, the, one, one, you have to, the one you have to think a little bit is about like this one. I'm just cutting it in half, right? You have, I don't know if it's in half, but in some part, you're going to get the other measures. Or also, you can do what? For example, in this case, this case is easy to see. You can calculate the volume of the 
if this block would be complete, this times this times this, but it's going to be the whole block. And then you can calculate this little piece and subtract. That's another way. Oh. Let's say, for example, here, if this one wouldn't have this dent here, it would be only 2 it's times five. 8 times 5. It's going to be what? 8 times 5 is what? 40. Times 2? Uh, 80. 80. It means my whole block without a dent is going to be 8, 80 cubic mm -hmm. inches. Now, but I have this dent. How much is this dent? Is Sounds 1. 2 by 2 by 1. That's right. 2. 3. No, we mean 2. This part is 2. If this is 8 and this is 7, how much is this? Two by 1. Two by one. Only 1. Oh. And I have the 2 times 1. So 3. And times? 3. 2. 2. 2. Because this is 5 and this is 3, it's going to be 2. Okay, 2. Then I have only 2 times 2, 4 times 1, 4. Now you say. I'm going to subtract inches cubed. My answer is going to be 76 inches cubed. And it's going to be exactly the same answer if you decided, for example, to cut it right here. And you're going to calculate this block, plus this block, you're going to have the same answer. OK, you're going to practice in this workshop. <laughs> But what is your perception? Sometimes you're not going to need all the uh, numbers. Just let me know.
it's easy like that when you have to calculate volume of the box, just measure length and width and height, and that's it.